Welcome back to East Midlands Airport. We're here at the top of the tower, uh, joined by the man who's in charge, Andy Cliff. This must be a great day for you, having a new aircraft with a top airline flying hundreds of passengers out. Can't be a bad thing. Yeah, we're delighted that Thompson has started their 787 operations from here. We're one of four UK airports that they're flying uh, the Dreamliner from, so uh, we're utterly delighted. There's a great route network and real confidence in East Midlands Airport. As we stand here at the top of the tower, we're looking over your airport, and of course we've got uh, BMI Baby down there, Fly B. This aircraft is enormous compared to those. Um, Business-wise, that's no bad thing. The more people you get on the plane, the more people passing through, the better for the economy of the area. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but, but, but it's important for, for mix of aircraft as well. Uh, you know, some routes are suited to smaller aircraft, uh, so it's about the choice for customers and it's about the range. But as I say, we're delighted with the Dreamliner, we're delighted with the number of passengers and their and growth great destinations. In terms of how far you travel, I suppose that's exciting for the future as well. I mean, this flight today will be going to Orlando. You're also covering Mexico. The further afield you go, the more opportunities to get more people into this airport to travel further to fly with you. Absolutely. And the, the Dreamliner is a great aircraft that can really support long haul route connectivity from East Midlands. And that's one of our ambitions. Uh, we're looking to grow the airport uh, in all respects, you know, short haul city destinations, uh, but also the long haul side of things as well. So we're very pleased. I was saying earlier to Thompson, it must be extraordinary to order a plane in 2005 and see it land in 2013. It's a unique business plan, the airline industry, isn't it? It is a unique business plan. And, then, you know, just notwithstanding the dreamline of the, the whole sector has had its challenges, much like other industry with the current recession. Uh, but I'm pleased to see that we're here now, we're moving forward and that it's a great opportunity. Technically, how difficult is it handling an aircraft of that size? The 787 Dreamliner has got more passengers, therefore there's more bags, it will need more food. It's, it's technically no more difficult. Uh, it's just about capacity and making sure that all of the service partners at the, at the airport work together collaboratively. Uh, and, you know, we're very confident in the operational service that we'll provide with our Thompson partners. Andy, how important is today in the uh, airport's history? I mean, we can see the plane now coming in. It's about to land. Hopefully we'll hear it, although it is very quiet. We might not. Uh, it's very important. Uh, it's a great confidence boost for East Midlands. Uh, it's a great signal of future technology for aviation. Um, we're great to be part of it. And here we can see the Dreamliner 787. Unique, of course, because it's bent wings. That's what makes it different. Yeah, and it's a more fuel efficient aircraft. Uh, and that's one of the things that makes it so great. It, uh, it opens up new route opportunities. Uh, it's, as you say, it's been a long time in development, but it's here now and we're, we're very pleased with that. Let's listen and see if we can hear it. A lot of very excited passengers today waiting to go to Orlando with it and of course your crew and your team have been looking forward to this day for many years. Yeah we have, we've got 291 customers that are on board the aircraft today uh, so that's that's great, uh, hopefully they'll enjoy their holidays uh, and, and as I say we're, we're very pleased that Thompson have chosen East Midlands to, to start their operations from. Andy Cliff, thank you very much for talking to us from East Midlands Airport. Thank you.